Good morning everyone and welcome back to a new video. This was my living room, this is exactly how I would style it. Honestly, when I saw this in store I was like, oh, it was £4.50, like what? Ooh, lime and ginger parsnips. Oh, they look nice. I am just in the car, I feel like I'm starting most of my videos in the car but it won't, it's just a little introduction into today's video so i am just at a location that i will tell you about shortly this weekend i took a trip to um sainsbury's matalan and tk max sorry i feel like i've got some fluff under my nose um yeah so i took a trip to there and they had some amazing pieces so Part of the reason why I was going there was because I have a very exciting day today um, with Story Homes. I have just come to Poulton the Flyde. Um, it is the Tithe Gardens um, development site. And today I will be showing you around the show home. I'm very excitedly with the pieces that I have picked up recently. I will be doing a little styling session with you because they have a beautiful media unit ready for all the shelves to be styled um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to it um, so yeah what I'll do it now is um, I will insert this in footage in now and then I will see you inside ready to show you around
Um, I've just come up to the master bedroom suite and look what I've noticed. Um, this is the same desk that I have chosen for our guest bedroom. And it's beautiful, it is from Olivia's. But just a huge shout out to this lovely walk-in wardrobe section here. Like how nice is that to get ready? This is the media unit I was talking about that I will be styling up today and obviously it's already beautiful um, with the whole interior scheme and the colours, they are so nice, like the sofas I absolutely love, um, it's like a nice cream, Quite, a, I wouldn't say it was linen, it's more kind of like a boucle but it's got this gorgeous piping a grey piping along it and it's so lovely you can see it's like a basket weave almost actually I'd probably say the ivory um, but yeah it's absolutely stunning but I just wanted to show you how I would style it with the pieces that I've found on the high street because um, I feel like this style is almost to my taste but it's still got a bit more modern with for instance, the silver accent decorative items. I wouldn't necessarily have these in my home. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with them. I'm not saying that they aren't beautiful. But for me, I would probably go more down the antique bronze, gold um, and wood tones if I was to dress this. And obviously, you will see some of the pieces um, that I have. I've selected but like this for instance this chrome I wouldn't personally have that um, and I do have some nice photo frames that I brought along with me and again with the chrome more decorative items there and then there's just some more chrome pieces there but with saying that obviously you've got to take into consideration the handles these are also chrome and the light switches, so these are actually a brush chrome which I would personally opt for if I was in the process of getting a new build home. If I was um, in the process of getting a new build home, I would either go for antique brass, which I know can be expensive, but equally chrome or brushed chrome um, is just as expensive. Um, but I would recommend getting brush chrome because the fingerprints that I have all throughout the house of ivies of ours, it, you're constantly cleaning it. <laughs> so yeah, if I can tell you one tip, it would go for brush chrome or antique brass um, light switches. <laughs> what I will do now is, obviously I am going to style this up now. So I might 
I'll take you through the process, show you the things obviously I've got, and then um, I'm going to probably do a time lapse of removing all the things off here, and then show you how I would style it. I'm probably going more for like the modern country um, look, just to bring that more homely feel, um, if you understand what I mean. Um, obviously, because this is a show home, you're going to want to show the home at its best. Um, and if I could have a show home, <laughs> I would totally <laughs> go for it. But obviously, the realities of life and living in your home, you ne you're not necessarily going to constantly have it this clean. But that would be the dream one day. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm excited to show you um, how I'm going to style it up. But yeah, I just love the colours anyway. I wasn't sure, sure when um, the lady I was working with sent me the photos. I wasn't sure whether it was more navy blue or grey. But no, it's a really nice warm grey. So yeah, I will show you how I style it. the best but I really enjoyed styling um, this part of the show home just because you have so many opportunities to showcase your own personal style and um, you can mix different objects together you can obviously create space for organization so that's what I've tried to do and keep in mind when I have chosen the products so like I mentioned before, a lot of the products are from Sainsbury's, TK Maxx and Matala. Everything that I do include I will link down in the description box down below because I know a lot of the Habitat um, pieces from Sainsbury's are new in as well. What I will do is I will talk through each thing I think. So what I might do is I'll probably have to move the camera around but just so you can see it. Um, as a whole there. I really like it. Um, so I've obviously stuck to quite a neutral palette in terms of the accessories that I've used but what I've tried to do is incorporate more wooden rustic pieces because that's personally what I love. That's my um, take on um, how I would style it. See if this was my living room this is exactly how I would I style it. I probably swap out the grey for a green because I absolutely love green, um, but I do actually really like this um, colour. Although it's grey and quite dark, it, it makes the space look so much cosier. Colour, it just, as soon as I walked in, I was like, oh, it feels so like homely and cosy with the colours that they've used. And like I was saying, with the pieces that I've chosen, I've tried to mix a bit of wood um, and still kept with the white ceramics, just so it's a bit more neutral. And then just added in mainly like textures to try and break up so it's just not all clean and crisp like it was previously um, when you saw it. And I've added a bit of greenery as well because I love the element of bringing the outdoors in. And uh, it just so happened that the pot um, from Habitat, um, it had the similar pattern to so the vases that I selected for Matalan as well. So that was just kind of a nice happy accident. <laughs> but I just love how the leaves trailing down as well. Um, it was very similar to the plant that was previously up as well. But yeah, I just really like the pot, uh, the vase of that one. It's really nice. So I've just brought you in a little bit closer just so you can obviously see the products a bit more closer. 
um, and I wanted to speak to you about all the products um, that I've chosen, where they're from, the price point and why I chose them. Um, so starting off with this beautiful vase from Matalan. Honestly, when I saw this in store, I was like, oh, Matalan are killing it at the moment. So this isn't something you'd probably expect to see in Matalan. And for £8, it's an amazing price point. So I just love the speckled texture and then the darker tone there. And it's just the perfect decorative piece. Um, and I absolutely love it. So I have stacked that up on top of some boxes. So these boxes are from TK Maxx and they are just the ones that you can store away. So they open up, you can like file away paperwork or anything. Or it's great if you want to put them on like an ottoman for storage. So like hide your remotes and any just unsightly things that you don't really want to see around the home. I've got a pack of two though, but they have lots of designs. So this one's based on like a bird, but they have like nature and um, places like in the world, like London, Paris. They have loads of different ones. So if you're in your local TK Maxx, um, definitely keep a look out for them. I believe, I think this one was $7.99 and the smaller one was $4.99, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, I, th I think it's round about that mark. And we have, next up we have these picture frames. So um, the reason I chose these was because I absolutely love the effect of the wood. It's such a nice, it's not too light, it's not too dark, and it looks really realistic. Obviously, it's not real wood, but it, I just love the fact that it's adding that texture element to it and the warmth um, that I think this corner of the home really needed. Um, and obviously, it's just got interior pictures in here, but what I would like to do um, if it was my home, I would get some prints from like Muse Home or Trove Prints. They are my ultimate favourite place to go when it comes to landscape prints <laughs> or still life maybe. Um, I would just replace those with them. Um, and these were probably around the frames four ninety nine, five ninety nine. I think they were four pound or five pound actually, roughly that. Um, and then I think the bigger one was about seven pounds. Um, then next up we have this vase. So this vase, you will probably have seen the lovely Helena uh, from the Blossoms Home share. Um, I think she shared it on her Instagram and her YouTube. I will link her account down below if you don't already follow her or subscribe. But yeah, she shared this and I think Chess might have as well. Um, so I was heavily influenced by the girls with this purchase. Um, but I just love the simplicity of the ceramic. So it's just a plain cream ceramic. And then if you see, see up close, it's got this beautiful botanical print um, all around the vase and I believe I can't quite remember the price of this one I want to say £18 but it might not be that much um, but yeah it was just a great price point and a good size as well um, and I think I'm sure they brought out a smaller one but hopefully these are coming back in stock ready in time for spring as well because I had lots at my local one and then just to match up with that, I just have this plain candle from Habitat. So this, oh, it's so nice. So it's um, cip cip cypress, cip yeah, cypress, sage and bergamot. And it smells incredible. It's so nice. So that's it there. Um, and this, again, that wasn't too much. I think it was about £5, something like that. But it's just a nice one that you can use again as well because it's quite, it's just plain um, ceramic, but then... It's got like this nice stone base to it as well. I love that. And then next up we have this mango object. So it's not something that I would have considered really, but after when I did my little bit of research and looked online and I saw it, the way that they styled it on the Habitat website was so nice. It was giving like old Zara vibes, just plain simple. I think they styled it with the Studio McGee book and the White Company one, um, just placed on top. But it's really nice, nothing nothing too crazy. I've still got the sticker on there. Um, and I don't think that was this that much. I think it was about £8, I think. Um, and they do one very similar online at the minute. Because this is brand new, I couldn't find it on the website, but I've linked one very similar. It was kind of like a link chain one in the same mango wood. So hopefully they bring it back in stock. I will keep checking. But yeah, just place that um, on top of these books, just like that. Um, and these books, oh, you can't quite see it. Let me just show you. 
So these books were already here um, when I came to style it. So I've just turned them around just to show the, um, not the spine part, just to bring in that cream colour and just popped it on top. But if you wanted to, if you've got some old books around, lying around that you no longer want, if you've got any sample parts, you can just paint the books um, to a colour that suits your interior. I think that's a really good way of just obviously not throwing away the books, so you can still keep them, but use it as a decorative item as well. So yeah, I love that. And then moving on, I will pop you around here. Oh, I might have to, I might have to hold you up here. So, oh, bear with me. <laughs> so this is the plant pot that I picked up from Habitat. Um, it was £14 and such a bargain. So normally when you come, when you get four plants like this, they look really nice, but the pot's not as nice. Whereas this, it looks nice, it looks really realistic, and the pot's nice as well. And the reason I chose it just because it matches so much with the mix of the textures there that you can see with like the Matalan bars there. I absolutely love it. And I got the idea because previously, um, I got the idea previously because when it was styled up they did have a plant in the corner there and I really like the effect. And bringing the outdoors in I really like the look of that. Um, and this one, they already had it. Um, it's just like a linen box. You could probably pick up stuff like this from TK Maxx already. But that's again, it's great for styling up and hiding all your unwanted bits like remotes or anything that you find around the house. This lighting is very bad. <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. Let's see. Oh, let's see if I can. I'm sorry, can you see me? I feel like I'm, <laughs> I've just propped you on the stool. Um, yeah, these are the candlesticks. So you see what I mean with the bringing the rustic element to it. So it's a nice cream, but it's got these brown textures that I absolutely love. Um, and I just really like the style, styling two of them side by side. But if again, if you wanted to have it uh, maybe on a windowsill, you can pop a pillar candle on top of it be really nice and then I will bring you back down here let's see if I'm not too close Ooh, let's see I might have to pop you back a little bit there that's good um so these books were actually here previously when they, they styled the show home. So I've left those there because I really like the antique look of it. It's really nice. And then this is the piece that I picked up from TK Max. So it was 9 99 I believe. So it's just a beautiful wooden um, book stand. I think that's what you call them anyway. <laughs> Um, I really wish they had two, but I quite like just the look of just one. Um, it works really well. I absolutely love that, and just for a great pack price point. And I believe that they've got the thing on there as well, if you did want to hang it up on a wall. I mean, I'm not too sure. Or a bracket for a shelf. That would probably work really well. But just for now, it works perfectly. It's a book stand. And then scallop. We could not not include a scallop item. Um, Scallop is still huge this year. It was starting last year. A lot of people went mad for scallop and again It's back this year, especially for springtime and um, Chess loves her scallop. Uh, she has lots of scalloped items in her home and they're all so beautiful um, I think she's probably got this and if you don't then why? <laughs> if you're watching this chess, but yeah, this one I've actually got the label still in there. So this was nine pounds so they also have different variations of this as well in store. So they have like a fish bowl. You probably would have seen um, from my previous clips anyway when I went to shop there. They had, yeah, a fish bowl and they've got um, a really nice scallop shelf that's really nice. Um, yeah, they've just got lots of scallop baskets. Yeah, lots. Um, and I just feel like this rattan texture breaks up the elements as well and brings a bit more warmth to it as well. And then... I get more photo frames, so this one's just more different shape with the square. And I just, I like to, when I do my frames, I like to put them in twos, either one on its own 
um, either side or together as a two. I really like how it's styled. And then this is the piece that I got from Matalan. So this is the candle holder. It is stunning. I absolutely love it. I wish I'd have got two, but just to style side by side. Um, I believe they were eight pounds each. But yeah, I styled up with a pillar candle if you wanted, or just as a decorative item like I've used it. It's really nice. I absolutely love it. Um, so I think I'm going to have to get some for my home as well. Um, and I've just styled it on the books, like you just see here. Again, I've just styled it on just some normal books at the bottom there. Moving on. Oh, oh you're on the wonk, I think. Are you on the wonk? Is that better? Oh, that's better. <laughs> So next up we have this winter wellness. So it's a nourishing recipe to keep your keep you healthy when it's cold. And I just love the colour of this blue. Um, and it's got some really nice images in. Um, and I love to put that interior box on a coffee table uh, just for people to look at if they have a pop round. Um, yeah, some really nice recipes in here as well. So I picked this up from Habitat and Sainsbury's. Um, ooh, lime and ginger parsnips. Um, but yeah, I've got that and then on top to hold that I have, let me just get up a second, this mango wood stand. Now I think they've had this in a while but as soon as I saw it I was like that would be perfect um, to style up. So yeah, I collected that um, and it works really well on the corner there. Styled up with the book. And then here you will see I have got a blanket. So this one's just like a nice charcoal. It's almost like a boucle blanket. Um, perfect for styling over ottomans or even um, over your sofa, over your arm of your chair. Um, works really well. And then next up we have these cushions. So these were an absolute bargain. So they were, this cushion cover was four pounds and it's got this lovely herringbone um, pattern to it. You see there, it's absolutely stunning. It's like a gray and white, it's really nice. And then last but not least, we have this cushion, which, oh my goodness, as soon as I saw it, I loved it. Um, it's giving me all the Studio McGee vibes. Just even like the nice little print in it. It's absolutely stunning. And it was £4.50. It was £4.50. Like, what? It's crazy. That is so good. Um, I've just said that was the last piece, but I've got one more over here. <laughs> A cushion. Um, and it is this velvet one. So this one's really nice. I feel like it's awkward bending down. Um, this one's really nice. I loved the cream linen piping. Well, it's not piping, but like a board around it. And it's just a lovely grey velvet cushion. And it works really well. It's kind of like contrasting to the sofa. Um, you can see it there, styled up there. And I just love the colour combination here. It's just something really simple. So I am going to end this video here. I really hope you enjoyed um, this type of content. It's a little different for me, um, but I obviously this part of the video, I am working with Story Homes, but it is not on YouTube, it is Instagram. So I have created a little reel. It should be up by now, by the time this video goes live, but I've popped um, how I've styled everything on over on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me, it is Home and Cranberry Meadows. I would love you to follow me, just for much more interior content. And yeah, I've this, so this, just a little information. I will pop the information about the site down below, but this is in Poulton the Clyde. Um, so it's near the Fleetwood Blackpool area. Um, so they are in the development stage, so there are obviously there's lots of um, plots still available and there are, the good thing about this is, they, this is the four bedroom house, but they also have two more on site that you can visit as well and have a nosy at. But yeah, this is definitely by far my favourite, um, so this is the Hewson, yeah it's beautiful. But yeah, I re I'm really happy with how it's, how it's turned out. 
Um, and the, the lovely thing about it, I've just been speaking with the lady who deals with all the marketing side to it. Um, she absolutely loved um, how I've styled it and she actually contacted her manager to see um, if he would be happy to keep all the bits in place as well because um, she really likes it compared to what it was before so uh, that's a, such a huge compliment to me um, so yeah I'm really really happy with that let me know in the comments below do you prefer this style of interior or do you prefer more like the modern I wouldn't say glamour I need to try and find the right word to describe uh, that interior style but it's a lot more modern clean crisp um, style but yeah let me know in the comments below which you prefer Anything that's included in this video, I will pop the links down in the description box so you can shop them. Um, hopefully they don't sell out before this goes live. Um, but yeah, I think my favourite piece out of everything was either, I can't, I can't decide. I think it's got to be the pot from Matalan and then the, um, the cream cushions from Habitat. They are my absolute favourite. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like. Um, if you don't already, subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.